Hello, this is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. Well, go ahead and grab you something to drink. I am drinking plain old black coffee, and I'm drinking out of Plans to Give You Hope and a Future. It's Jeremiah 29 11. So, um, it's just, like I said, it's just plain old black coffee this morning. Mmm, it's so good. Okay, so now that you've got something to drink, sit back and relax, and let's just see what I have in today's video. All right, so the first thing I would like to show you guys is I got this beautiful Valentine card in the mail, and this is from Crystal, so thank you so much, Crystal. Crystal does have a YouTube channel, and I enjoy it very much, and she's very talented, and um, it's chronically crocheting. It's Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. So I will leave her link below for you guys to go check out. But here is the beautiful card. Thank you so much for that, Crystal. I appreciate this very much. It's just beautiful. So thank you so much for that, Crystal. I really appreciate it. So guys, go check out her channel because you will really like it. Like I said, she's very talented. All right, so let's go and see what I have next. I have been working on a few little Valentine thing. This is from Stringy Ding Ding is the pattern. I did add a, a heart here, a heart here, a heart here, and two little pink flowers here. And uh, that's it. The rest is hers. So. <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> I don't know if it looks like a giraffe or not, but, uh, or at least my little version of it. I, it kind of looks like a, part of a bull, a cow, I don't know, and then part giraffe. <laughs> it's a little bit of everything, but um, I did have fun making this, and according to the pattern, these little V things are actually supposed to be all over the body here, so, and the head was leaning forward, and you really couldn't see the face very good, so I just took some yarn and grabbed a part of the head here and grabbed the back and then cinched it together and um, tied it in a knot, and then I just covered it up with these little flowers right here that I had already had made, <laughs> probably from another project I was working on and didn't need them or something, but anyway, I found them, but this right here heart is supposed to dangle, and it was getting on my nerves dangling because it wouldn't dangle right. It always wanted to dang dangle backwards or sideways or something, so I just stuck it on there. Anyway, so yeah, this is it. I think it's just adorable. Whatever it is. Giraffe bull. <laughs> anyway. Um, so go to Stringy Ding Ding. Hers looks really good. Go to StringyDingDing.com. It's a free pattern. And, um, and make you one of these. <laughs> okay. So it is called the Love Giraffe. Is the name of this. Um, let's see. I used a 4 millimeter crochet hook for this. Medium full weight yarn. I used a Hobie Kind Feather. And I will leave the link below for the Hobie Kind Feather. It's 100% acrylic. So the colors that I used, let's see. White. I think that this is, what color is that one? Zero 01. I used this here for the pink. There's Kind Feather. And this color here is 10. If you like that pink that I did it in, I think it's a very pretty pink. This is very soft yarn. And I don't have the thing for this, but I'm pretty sure it's 07. So if you like, like what I did the little hearts in. <laughs> All right, so I have another project done. This one is, I worked on some little hats for little Charlie Mae, my little granddaughter. So here is the blue. And here's gray. And then this is like the lavender with the little blue flower that's got little lavender and yellow and stuff in it. You can see it up close. Um, I made her a solid white one. There is a big flower right there. It just kind of blends in with the hat. <laughs> Here's her little Valentine one. And another little Valentine one. So... Yeah, so that's what I've got her. She is coming over today, so I will get to visit with her and Knox. Have fun with those little grandbabies today. And, of course, uh, hopefully I'll get some pictures of her with these hats on. That'll be so cute. 
Um, my sister Tanya, she is working on a blanket for her, a little mini mouse blanket. You know, she made Knox the Mickey mouse blanket, and so she's making her the mini mouse blanket. So I look forward to showing that off to you guys when she gets that finished. Okay, guys, don't forget, we do have a crochet along. It is the Valentine crochet along. And this is a basket my sister made right here for hers. And I made a basket, but I'll have to show mine in another video. And I keep forgetting to post it on Facebook. But um, I don't think the basket is goes with the crochet along. This is my sister Tanya's. But the, the giveaway that's going with the crochet along is um, you make something in a basket in... Uh, let's see, red, white, pink, and gray, or I mean, or gray, any of those four colors, or you can combine the colors, whatever you want to do, but as long as it's those four colors and nothing else, no yellows, no blues, just those four colors. But anyway, so here's like some of the th prizes that uh, one person will win, and um, you have to email me your picture, or you can um, put it in Facebook my Facebook group page. I'll, both links will be below. My email is below as well. And uh, just submit your picture and I will put your name in on, um, it's kind of like a YouTube random picker, but it's with like a wheel with names on it. So that's what we'll be doing on that one. And the winner will also get uh, let's see, this bag plus um, six skeins of yarn right here. <laughs> <laughs> that winner will be on February the 14th is when I will pick that one. So, um, yeah, let me show you what else I'm working on. I forgot this. I am working on my Valentine dress for my dolls. And this is what I've gotten so far. And um, then I'm not too, I don't like too much on this. Just the little decoration part on it. And then I will start on some shoes and stuff like that. But anyway, so if you've got an 18-inch doll... Be watching out for this pattern because it's going to be cute. <laughs> nice little Valentine outfit. And I'm using an H hook for this. All right, so the yarn I'm using for the dress, Big Twist. If you like this pink here, this is Big Twist. It's very pretty. And it's called uh, Medium Rose. The white should be just called white that I'm using for that. And the little hearts that I'm going to put on that are Big Twist as well. And this one is called Varsity Red. So those are the three colors that I'm using on this. Guys, I almost forgot to mention the cardigan that I'm wearing. Um, this is the Carly cardigan. Right here. Here's the back side. And here's the bottom right here. So if you're interested in making this, um, I will leave the links below so that you can go and check this out. <laughs> The, it's called the Carly Cardigan. All right, guys, it's time to go ahead and do our Be Still and Know devotion. Beautiful layers. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith, goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. That's 2 Peter 1, 5 through 7. The art of a painting lies not in what you see, but in the process that has gone into making it, what it has become. Usually a painting begins with inspiration, an idea or emotion that wants to be expressed. It proceeds with sketching, color, texture, and variations in between. A painter rarely produces exactly what they originally pictured. Our life with God can be like a painting. It begins with our faith. Our believing Jesus sets up our canvas, but the scripture calls us to add to the death of our faith by applying colors of goodness, knowledge, and self-control. The beauty emerges as we add perseverance, godliness, affection, and love. These things take time to develop in us. They can involve mistakes, and they can make us look very different. Do you need to add anything to your faith today? Will you make the extra effort to become beautiful by applying goodness, perseverance, or love to your life? Thank you, Jesus, that you have begun a good work in me. I have faith in your saving grace. Today, Lord, I need to add some spiritual discipline to my faith. Help me to know you more. Help me to control my emotions. Help me to persevere and help me to love. 
Wasn't that nice? I'm so glad you guys enjoy that as much as I do and that you are enjoying the daily devotion that I'm putting out on YouTube Shorts because I see that I have a lot of you guys watching that and quite a few of you are actually leaving comments. So I appreciate that very, very much. So upcoming video, I will not have a video tomorrow, but I will have a, a Whip Caddy Wednesday. So if you have um, pictures that you would, I mean, whip carts, whip space, some of you have whip bags, and you would like to be included in the video to kind of show off the things that you're working so that you can inspire everybody. Um, go ahead and post those, get those ready. I, I've already seen some that are, some of you guys have posted and, um, but if you haven't posted yet, go ahead and post yours and let's see. Oh yeah. And I think I will end this video with a few of you guys, um, baskets, not all of you. So please don't be disappointed if your basket's not on here. It will be on another video. I will get, make sure everybody gets their basket on the video because I like showing them off for you guys. <laughs> and you guys worked hard on that. The way you've designed your colors and coordinated everything. And there are some beautiful baskets out there. So I'm just going to show a few of them here at the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. Okay. <laughs> That's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life and to have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.